All right, we are back once again, and we are now Human Link. Yes. And now we're going to step out the door. Okay. Um. Yes, I understand that. Yep. Uh, seems pretty obvious that we would have to go to those four areas. I guess we'll have to see, Tattle. We could uh, stop talking now. Yes, yes, I... Okay, anyways, what we want to do first... Get out of here, fucking dog. What we want to do first is uh, a few things in Clock Town. <clears throat> first off, we want to go over... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um... Okay, uh... Never mind what I was about to say. First, I'm going to go over here. And over here. And we are going to go over here to this treasure chest. <laughs> Which inside will hold... Uh, 100 rupees. Now, when you go back in time in this game, you will lose all rupees that you obtain. Your wallet, uh, and arrows, and bombs, and generally any kind of expendable item like that will just completely go away. But there is a way to get around this. Somehow, by some crazy magics, your money will survive through the uh, bank. And we want to deposit 99. <coughs> I mean, I guess that the uh, stamp right there lets her know. I mean, or him know. I, I don't even know. But how would they know what amount of money you had from this? I this game, I just, I don't, I don't, I, whatever. Anyways, we want to um, oh yeah, we want to hit this. <laughs> now these owl statues right here are basically quick saves. So it's the only way you can really save in this game, like really save, is using the Ocarina of Time to go back in time. If you hit one of these, it's more like a temporary save. So, um, for instance, if you just wanted to quit, but you don't want to lose all your progress, you go there. But you can't, like, once you hit it, and you save, and then you load, the, the quick save goes away. So if you, like, when it's just cut off without saving, then the quick save would go away and you would have to stick with your old file. So you'd be pretty much back at the first day. Uh, well, we better wait around for stuff to happen. So, cutting time. Hey, I'm back, and I actually wasn't gone that long. I just needed to go to, um, you know, 10 a.m. right here so I can enter here. And we want to enter here, so we can go over here to this room. Yep. And not roll into the wall. And we want to go over to this lady right here. Yes, and we will look for him. And we got the cafe's mask first mask and it um, doesn't really have much use it's meant to uh, you're supposed to wear it and ask around but obviously we know where we're going and we're not going to do that but we are not actually going to use it for quite a while so let's go over to the laundry pool
Now at the laundry pool will be another mask for us. And uh, hmm, let me pick here. Then we will get one more mask, and then we will depart. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more masks that we can get later in Clock Town, but we won't get them until uh, much later in the game. So we're going to pretty much just go here, and then we are going to wait until 1 p.m. So, see you at 1. Alright, so I actually messed up, and I don't know why I was thinking it was 1 p.m., but it's actually 6 p.m. And we want to uh, speak to this guy. He's from Ocarina of Time as the Windmill Guy. An animal troop with dogs and donkeys? What? That is true. Why can't the dog be the leader, man? Why you gotta why you gotta flip out? You stole the dog's mask. Oh, he gave us this mask, the Bremen mask, which is honestly only useful for getting an immensely more useful mask later. And actually, as for masks, I just remembered that I have three more after that particular mask. So, um, yeah. We are, um, gonna get those complete. You know, get them out of the way beforehand. But what we want to do next is go up to North Clock Town for our next mask. Huh. Let's see what's over here. What's, what's behind this little slide here? Who's this little fella right here just standing there? What's, what's he doing? What you doing, guy? Uh, uh um, okay. Uh, uh, all right. I guess I'll just leave you on your way then. Yeah. So um, I'm just gonna randomly cut here to a certain time for absolutely no reason. All right, we're back, and it is 11 p.m. now. Nearly 12. Oh, hey, look at this right here. There's a little old lady. Hmm. She's carrying some goods. It sure is dangerous out here at night. Hey look, there's that guy over there not doing anything suspicious or, or anything like that. Oh son of a bitch, he just robbed that woman. Yeah! Yeah, you better run! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this dude is pretty much a huge asshole. And actually, I think you can kill him right here at, um, I think you need arrows or bombs or so something like that. I, I don't remember exactly how, but I know that you can, like, literally kill him, and he will stay there dead forever. Well, and he'd go back in time. Anyways, we saved this old woman's bomb bags. And she gives us the bomb, I mean, not the, bomb, the blast mask, which is actually very useful. It makes bombs mostly obsolete because it does exactly what bombs do it, well at the cost of you getting damaged but if you hold up your shield like this uh, it actually does no damage so what we want to do next is go straight out here yes if a kid gets a hold of sword he's automatically an adult in Zelda so yeah and now we're officially leaving the uh, clock town without going through um, without going through the observatory which we couldn't exit even if we wanted to earlier but what we want to do out here is we want to go all the way over here to uh, these little see these little pillars here well one of them has uh, yeah this little dancing guy right here that uh, is definitely a strange thing he's dancing out here all by himself Do you, do you really need to do this? <laughs> this translation. Oh, 
Okay, um, what we want to do here is not lock on to him. Um, how do you do this again? No, that's not it. Um, trying to do it without, uh, uh, I know that it's Soraya's song backwards, so. Yeah, there we go. I knew I'd get it. And we want to play the Song of Healing. Because it said that the Song of Healing would heal troubled spirits. And now we get this mask. Now, um, even though we use the Song of Healing, it isn't really like he turned into the mask, and we definitely don't transform into him when we uh, put it on, which is <laughs> um, is probably for the best, but what we can do with it is um, we can uh, dance. Yeah, this is, yeah, here we go. Anyways, I lost track of time again. I don't know how long I've been playing. Or recording, rather. But, uh, see you next episode, where we'll get some more masks.